Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. So today we are going to discuss about different types of power flow patterns in an power train as well as drive train. Let's try to consider this drive train which consists of a two power train. So I'm going to have already we discussed what is meant by a power train and drive train which is left in the cart you can see in the previous video. So now I'm going to construct power train one. So what is meant by a power train one is nothing but it consists of two elements one is a energy source and next one is energy converter so energy source generally we take in this uh, power train as petrol and diesel just take only one energy source petrol or diesel it may be a petrol vehicle or a diesel vehicle and energy converter is nothing but which converts this fuel into an mechanical energy is nothing but the original engine which is nothing but two stroke engine or four stroke engine as per the need so energy source plus energy converter is called as power train one and i'm going to construct power train two which consists of one more energy source here i have one more energy source 2 so here i'm having one more energy source and coupled with an energy converter so here this plays a very important role so energy converter here energy source i am taking purely electric which is nothing but an battery coupled with an so how what kind of tool you require to convert this battery to mechanical energy is a motor it may be an brushless DC motor or permanent magnet synchronous motor and all these two energies are added with the help of an summer. I am going to add these two energies and resultant is available on the load. You can see here the upper one is called power train 1, the bottom one is called power train 2. These two energies are added to supply the power to the load. This dark color line what I have been drawn here. This dark color line is nothing but a power flow while propelling. So this is the power flow while we are moving the vehicle or while we are driving the vehicle. It's called while propelling or while driving. So this is one kind of flow with the dark color line, the dark color lines which I have indicated in black color. Now let's try to see this vehicle will operate in one more mode which is very interesting which is called uh, regenerative mode. So the power flows while so I am going to draw the dotted line this is nothing but uh, power flow in the vehicle while regenerative power or regenerative power or you mean in regenerative it gen generates the power or this generative power or it may apply the brake. So this is the dotted line what it indicates. So how do you get this dotted line? So this load is there and this load will try to flow like this and it is available to the energy converter. Now mechanical input is there and this motor will try to act like an generator and energy will be flowing like this. So what I am showing in daughter color. So this motor is now acting like a generator in red color and charging the battery. And next possibility is we already have an petrol or diesel. This will be used by the engine and engine once again will send the energy to the engine will try to propel this motor. I mean will try to propel is the same input as the load. It will try to propel and which was trying to act like a motor will try to act like an generator and once again the battery gets charged this are the the blue i mean the black colored one is nothing but uh, while the vehicle is propelling the red colored one is nothing but how the battery gets charged in regenerative mode of braking okay so this is or in regenerative mode also it gets charged or this uh, engine will act as an input to the generator it will give the mechanical input output is electrical this is all about uh, power train so we have power train 1 and power train 2 then it is called as a drive train then group of power train is called as a drive train now let's try to classify what are different types of uh, power trains and 
what are different types of uh, right train this is completely called as uh, so we have energy source 1 and energy source 2 this is called as hybrid this is called as two sources are there therefore this is called hybrid drive train and when this hybrid drive train will be called as a hybrid electric vehicle so when we can call this as hybrid electric vehicle is definitely we need to have one source should be an battery and motor so one power train so one power train should be a compulsory electrical power train so this should be an electrical one power train should be of electrical in nature or electrical power train is compulsory then only it is called as a hybrid the another source may be an engine or it may be a fuel cell or it may be an uh, some other source but one should be an consisting of battery and motor then only this is called as hybrid electric vehicle if you use other than battery if you use battery and some other petrol diesel or fuel cell then it's called hybrid drive train this is all about what is meant by drive train what is meant by hybrid drive train what is meant by hybrid electric vehicle so this is all about now let us try to see the power flows in each individual with the due different colors okay so let's try to redraw the things again for more clarity you can see here i am removing the remaining parts to make you to understand better So I am selecting only this area which is required for me to explain all the power flows. So only this area is required for me. That's why I am selecting this area. Let's try to go to our uh, concept of uh, understanding it in more detail. So this is what we have generally now. So let's try to write down pattern 1. Okay. So first pattern is nothing but uh, pattern 1 is only engine propelling mode. Engine propelling mode. So in engine propelling mode, so let's try to draw it with an dark color or let's try to select uh, some other uh, color. So I'm selecting an yellow color. So this is nothing but engine propelling mode. In engine propelling mode, uh, engine only will propel and battery is almost uh, fully charged. Battery in the case of uh, fully charged. So the battery is fully charged. So therefore, the energy will flow from diesel will go to the engine and from this engine it goes to the summer and ultimately the torque is available at the load this is power train one so this is uh, power train one or the power flow or the pattern of power flow second pattern of uh, power flow is so you have the second pattern of uh, power flow is only we have only electric vehicle is charging i mean the petrol and diesel is uh, exhausted only ev propelling mode in this only ev propelling mode so in this ev propelling mode only battery will be there and battery only will send the power to the motor and it will try to operate so this is called as uh, the second mode which is nothing but uh, ev propelling mode so you have the next mode which is nothing but the third mode so third mode is nothing but uh, when you are trying to drive as an a grade angle or where we are going to call this as a hybrid traction mode hybrid traction mode in hybrid traction mode so we require to combine first pattern and we need to combine the second pattern so both the patterns are combined so combination of so this is uh, i am selecting some other color to differentiate you so we are going to have first pattern and second pattern so first pattern combined with so first pattern combined with second pattern both are combined this is called as a third pattern where here the vehicle has to travel and then high gradient road which is having some grade angle of 30 degrees so this is like traveling in god road so if you travel in god road then you require to have more gradable angle then vehicle has to travel in this mode then it requires the power from 
first one as well as the second one so battery and motor has to operate as well as petrol and diesel engine also has to operate which is nothing but a combination of both so coming to the fourth mode of operation so in this fourth mode of operation which is nothing but a regenerative braking in regenerative braking what happens is so fourth mode is regenerative braking so in regenerative braking so the power directly comes from this point okay so this load will try to i mean this load will try to rotate the motor and this motor will try to act like an generator so this is nothing but the motor is trying to act like an generator and the battery is getting charged so this mode is called regenerative mode i'm going to mark this with a pattern of 4 coming to the fifth pattern okay in fifth pattern power train 1 charges power train 2 so this is power train 1 is charging power train 2 which is also called as uh, the fifth pattern engine so we call it as a uh, fifth pattern is uh, engine charges the vehicle okay so fifth pattern is the engine charges battery okay so engine is charging the battery which is called as a uh, pattern 5 so this one i am going to call it as a fifth pattern on coming to the next one so we have sixth pattern in sixth pattern fourth pattern plus fifth pattern if you add you are going to get a sixth pattern what is this a sixth pattern is in the fourth pattern we have been seen regeneratively this motor is trying to act like a generator and charging the battery that's called uh, fourth pattern and in the fifth pattern engine is charging the battery so engine is also charging the battery as well as the load is also charging the battery where this is called as sixth pattern okay so this is now successfully we studied uh, six patterns and coming to the seventh pattern okay so seventh pattern how the things is uh, we have the upper one is power train 1 and we have the bottom one is power train 2 and we have the load so the power from the engine goes to the battery as well as it goes to the load i can say it's like a division so the engine power will be used to charge the battery and half of the engine power will be used to send to the load so this complete engine power will half of the part goes to the charging the battery and remaining half go to the load so this is about uh, pattern 7 so coming to the next pattern so pattern 8 in this pattern so power train 1 i mean engine will send the power to power train 2 so power train 1 is sending its energy charging its battery and from the battery we have the output this is like an a communication so power train 1 is charging power train 2 and power train 2 is delivering the energy to the load this is called as eighth pattern so coming to the ninth pattern in ninth pattern from power train 1 it goes to the load and from load is trying to charge power train 2 hope uh, all the power trains were able to understand the different modes of operation we have nine patterns let's try to recall one by one so first pattern is only engine is running the load second pattern is only battery is charging the load third pattern is we are operating in an high gradient in the ghat road then you require pattern 1 and pattern 2 which is called third pattern fourth pattern is regenerative mode so the load is giving a mechanical input to the motor where the motor will try to act like an generator and automatically your battery gets charged this is called as a fourth pattern and fifth pattern is the engine is charging our battery therefore which is called as a the fifth pattern and come to the sixth pattern so in the sixth pattern 
what's happening is uh, this is a combination of uh, fourth pattern as well as uh, fifth pattern already we discussed in detail so the battery gets charged from generator as well as from the engine where this is called sixth pattern coming to the seventh pattern so power train one will send the power to battery as well as to the load this is called as seventh pattern so coming to the eighth pattern so in eighth pattern power train one the engine will send the power to the the engine will send the power to the battery which is nothing but power train two and from power train it goes to the load this is called power train eight power train nine power train nine is i mean in this ninth pattern so power train one will send the energy to the load and load will try to make the motor to run like a generator and it will try to charge the battery which is called power train 2 so like this there are multiple nine patterns how an electric vehicle propels but when you come to practical if you want an optimal performance so whatever the pattern is best depending upon the vehicle dynamics we have to perform optimization so how to perform optimization is what are the pattern is best depending upon the type of road you have to use that pattern okay so if you use all these different different pattern based on the condition automatically you can have an better efficiency this is all about operating different vehicles in different patterns and making the electric vehicle to run in a good performance characteristics i mean power speed and torque characteristics and trying to deliver the maximum possible efficiency okay so this pattern changes uh, step by step i mean depending upon the nature of the load and we can't all the time uh, we can say that we require only high efficiency it depends upon the road also so operating all this powertrain one and powertrain two in its best efficiency region is very important uh, to have an better efficiency so this is all about increasing the efficiency of all power trains you have to bestly utilize the battery and battery is fully drained you have to make use of the engine okay this is all about to best utilize power train 1 as well as power train 2 to deliver required amount of highest efficiency hope the content is uh, were able to understand still if you feel uh, content is useful just give a like and still if you have any doubts in the content please comment i can clarify your doubts and please subscribe to the channel which is like an uh, boost to us to do more useful videos uh, freely for you and which is and uh, more supporting to us so please like and subscribe viewers obediently from so thank you for watching so we'll meet in the next dynamic characteristics thank you